today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful embossed metal ornaments using 10 Second Studios tools and some Ranger products. And I have three different styles of ornaments that I made and I'm going to post the patterns on my blog. These are the supplies that you'll need to make this project. First you need a piece of metal and this is a piece of copper. And then some 10 Second Studios tools. I have the embossing mats, I have a thin black mat, a thick black mat, and an acrylic mat. Then the Teflon stylus, black roller, paper stump, a perf wheel, and some Ranger products I'm using are glossy accents, Suze Weinberg's glit stickle and ruby slippers. Claudine Helmet Studio paints in charcoal black. One of her brushes. Um, then I'm going to use to hang the ornament some Bright's um, trim, a tassel, assorted beads and wire, wire tools, and then you'll need scissors, tape, a paper towel, some Sue's Wonder Tape, a Prima Marketing. Say it in crystals. We'll use that for the center of the ornament. And finally, some red velvet paper. Okay, to begin, what I've done is I've taken my pattern and I've taped it down to the piece of metal. And then next, I'm going to place it on top of the thin mat. And then I'm going to trace all the lines of my pattern. And to do that, I'm going to use a ruler to help me make my line straight. So you just place the ruler along the line. And then you use the Teflon stylus tip and you trace all the lines in your pattern. Okay, now once you finish, you might want to just check the back to make sure that you got everything okay. And then next step is to take off the pattern. And then we're going to place it on the opposite side that the pattern was not on. And what we're going to do is we're going to refine these lines that we've embossed so that they stick out more. And to do that, you take your Teflon tip again, and then you're going to go outline both sides of the lines that you just embossed. And you're going to do that for every line on your star until you've done the whole thing. Okay, once you're finished, it looks like this. And another thing I wanted to mention, um, I'm using tools that are older, so the tools that are available now may look a little different than what you would get, but it's still the same thing, just so that you know that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to puff out the design so that it sticks out a little bit. And to do that, we use the thicker black mat, and then you're going to turn it on the wrong side, the opposite of the side we just refined, and then you're just going to go in between the lines, and you're just going to kind of like color in, and then it'll puff out. And then... I don't know if you can tell on there, you can see the puffiness. And you're going to puff all of the little sections of the star. Like so, you can see where it's starting to puff out. Okay. So once you've puffed the whole star, it looks like this on the wrong side. And then if you turn it over, this is what it looks like. So now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit interest by using one of the wheels. And this is the perf wheel. And I'm going to change mats again. And I'm going to use the thin mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline with this wheel right here 
on the outside of the star. And that kind of makes the puff stick out a little bit more too. And again, I'm using one of the older wheels. Okay. And when you're finished, it looks like this. Now, if some of your puffiness has gone astray after you've done that, you can always go back and forth and take your thick black mat again and then puff that out again. You can go back and forth as many times as you want just to make sure it's the way you like it. Okay, so that looks good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this the black roller and I'm going to flatten out the edges around the star just to make it lay better. So we're just going to go around the whole end. Now, once you've flattened it all out, you're ready to cut it out. And I'm using Tim Holtz scissors for this. It's very easy to cut this metal. And you're just going to cut out the whole design. Okay, once you cut it out, it looks like this. And then we're going to um, back the ornament with some velvet paper. So at this point, we're going to take our paper and we're going to um, put it on the wrong side. And I'm using Doodlebug velvet paper. And you're going to put it on to the paper. And then you're going to take a pencil and you're going to trace it. This way it'll be the, the same size as your finished piece. And then after you trace it, you cut it out, and then you're going to put it aside. 